What is up everyone? I'm KSCG and today we've got a brand new episode of TF2 Analysis to watch. A Change of Mind Part 1. I've got nothing much to say other than I'm glad to see that a new episode has come out. So let's check it out. Three, two, one. This episode is brought to you by our supporters on Patreon and Ko-fi. Find out how you can support TF2 Analysis Anarchy by clicking the links below. I wonder what the episode means by change of mind. Hmm. Let's see. A few oh. adjustments here. Are those new teleporters? A few just around here. That should do it. same problem. It appears the normal power required won't be enough for this specific design. Where on earth can I find a source that can produce 1.21 gigawatts? <laughs> Stupid noob schedule. Hey, Bliss. I don't know why the others is just on taking suggestions from the newbie medic just so Hothead could finally play. <laughs> <laughs> I could be a better leader if only Starlight did a jam. Oh. Hmm. Maybe I could sneak Twink back in and. Ahem. <laughs> yeah, that was totally kidding! Ari's a great medic and I never cheated games using my pet for OP. Wait a <laughs> Oh. Are you all right? I hate to see good food go to waste. Uh, uh, sorry, Doc. It was just another long day of training, you know? But thin sandwiches make things easier now. Well, I'm glad to see that you've gotten better at following the 621 rule at least. <laughs> but actually, since you are taking a break, I was wondering if you could assist me with something. I've been trying to come up with a new teleporter design oh, since I noticed is, there have been some is do is glitches Wolf, with is the previous Is have one. Bliss be the power with source? the circumstances of the last robot invasion, along with heightened emotional tension, I didn't question it at the time. But somehow, Keyframe was able to build the teleporters for both teams despite the original game mechanics making that impossible to do. Vector tech. I would have asked her how she was able to accomplish that, but the thought hadn't occurred to me until after she resigned with ANY. And you know how we can barely keep in contact with her as it is nowadays. Mm. Well, I know she said that things have changed since we started this whole thing. I mean, let's be honest, given what we've all gone through so far, this isn't the normal game anymore. Yep. I suppose that's true. But either way, without really knowing how she did it, I've been trying to recalibrate the teleporters myself to achieve the same effect. Kind of like what she did for her Unipack some time before. Oh. However, it appears that I'm not able to generate Makes enough sense. power for this specific prototype. I was hoping to give it a test run, but I need another source of power. I don't suppose you could... Use my magic? Um, oh boy. Well, can't say if that will help or not. I've never done anything like this before. Well, I've tried all the outlets I could find in Coal Town. Besides, this is just a prototype. Worst case scenario, it won't even respond to your magical impulses. Well, I guess it could have possibly resulted in mishaps like with my other previous magic lessons. <gasps> Here it goes! Uh-oh. Uh, actually, on second thought... Oh no, too late! It worked! 
language. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but yes, it appears to be working. Nice. Nicely done, Blissy. I guess all we need to do now is test to see if the other one is working on the other side. Uh, care to help? Sure thing. Oh, Got no. better to do. Uh, sandwich. Watch. Wa get that out of the way, please. From this. Nothing at yeah. Oh no. Wait, are they swapping bodies? I went through a spin cycle. I feel funny. Uh, lightning. I'm gonna have to ask you to stay calm. Why? What's... <laughs> Swap. Oh, I was right. Oh man, this is like a Freaky Friday episode. Lightning, deep breaths. Doc, I, I'm in your body. You're in my body, and I. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh man. How are you supposed to stand up in this thing? And and what are these things? They're called hands. How am I supposed lightning. to hold Starlight now? Uh, lightning. No disrespect, but I think we have bigger things to worry about than whether or not we can carry our weapons again. Hmm. I suggest since the teleporter forwarded us here and switched up our bodies, it would be logical that if we re-entered it, it would send us back the way we came. All we have to do is step back on the teleporter. Oh no! Oh no, it's broken. Oh, now it's broken. Oh no. Oh dear. No, no, go on. You were going to say step on the teleporter and everything would be fine. Oh, I no. was going to. Hey, just great. We're stuck this way. I'm Lightning Wolf and you're Dr. Bliss. This is not going to work for our channels, Doc. Do you even know how to use that thing? Cause I barely do. Oh, well that seems simple enough. Um, Come again. <laughs> uh, my apologies. I only meant that if I could figure out how to use your magic to recharge the teleporter, we could get it working again. All you have to do is teach me. Uh oh. Uh... <laughs> Lightning, you do know how, don't you? Do oh, no. you? Have you ever taught another pony how to use their magic? Fair enough. But we have to find a way to do so. It happened on your magical impulses. If we risk using another unicorn or alicorn's magic, we may not get the same result. Then what do you suggest, Doc? Hmm... Well... It appears you already figured out how to stand. How are you adjusting to my hands and tail? Well... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so fluffy! Focus, please. <laughs> oh, That's a nice animation. Um, sorry. Um... Well, it all feels a little weird to me. But it almost feels like my mind is learning to adjust to it. <clears throat> oh, uh, hold on a... <clears throat> uh, are you all right? Is something wrong with my body? <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. Oh, no. It's an impulse. You must learn to control that. We can't risk the other team members finding out about this either, so please... Don't draw attention to yourself. Oh, no. But look, you're controlling my magic. Oh, well, I'll be. It appears my theory is correct. 
If we wait long enough and allow our minds to adjust to our new bodies, I'll be able to perform that same spell you did. We just need to wait a little while before I can figure it all out. So all we need to do is just pretend to be each other for a little bit till you're fully able to use my magic? Sounds a bit weird, but I guess it's really the only option we have right now. I admit I'm not too fond of being the engineer. But then again, the idea of sitting behind multiple sentry guns while I draw doodles has kind of piqued my interest. <laughs> oh, what the heck! I get to train as Dr. Engineer! Pun totally intended. Yay! <laughs> no! Pussy, you can't go out there! Uh, I... I mean, erm... Um, <clears throat> Look, Lightning. You are me, and I am you. We both have different obligations to keep today, and we need to stick to them. Otherwise, it could raise suspicion. Mm. We need to keep as much on the down low as possible so that the others don't find out. Mm -hmm. Really? What's the big deal if they find out? Do you honestly think that will go well? That every pony will keep calm while we readjust to solve the problem? Well, this is it. It's all over. It's the end of the world. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. <sighs> no. That's what I thought. This could take hours, even days, Lightning. Now, mm. if I were you, I'd head back to my office. I understand that we may have a heightened sense of morale now, thanks to Ms. Armel, but it's proven to be a tad difficult to put into practice given the new empty spots on both teams we have yet to fill. And there is quite a lot of resumes to look over now that we've started accepting applications again. So you'll need to sort them out between potential and rejects. Through, like, we can also work. assess the amount of bills we need to pay off for the latest damages to weapons and buildings. And, oh. unfortunately, you will have to address the concerns of our current team members as they come up. They are counting on you to take charge. Yeah! Paperwork? Oh, horse feathers, that's boring, Doc! Well, pardon me, but I do this every single day. I find it quite satisfying and peaceful. Besides, no one else here has opposable thumbs. Yeah. Uh, who knows? This could be fun for you. Looking through new profiles, seeing new faces, meeting potential new clients, all that counting and calculates so that we have spending money for uh. things to do later on. Playing the game is more fun. What was that? Nothing. <sighs> Well, I guess being in charge doesn't sound too bad. It might be nice to well, have yeah, that's like what you said earlier, right? Ugh, it's not that easy, Lightning. It requires a lot of discipline and a calm state of mind. Besides, it's not a requirement that you finish any of the paperwork, rather that you just attempt to go through it. I can take care of things easily enough once we fix this current predicament. And as for interacting with the team members... Maybe a different perspective might actually be good for a change. Ooh, I can't wait. Oh, and by the way, Doc, you have training in five minutes. Pardon? <laughs> you heard me. I'm due for defensive training with Uncle Jasper. Then I have practice with Golden Fox to try out our new heavy sniper strategy. After all that, I head over to see uh -oh. Finn to be his cookie taste tester. I kind of promised him again for this month. I observe and critique battles all the time. Not to mention help maintain the vast amount of equipment we have around here. I believe I can at least give off the impression of Lightning Bliss for a while. <laughs> oh, you have no idea. Actually, oh boy. now that I think about it, this would give me an excellent opportunity to observe behavior and strategies up close and personal after being on the sidelines for so long. I never thought uh -oh. I'd get the chance to be an undercover boss, so I'd best not waste it. <sighs> I never thought of that. Well, you heard her. Okay. You see? Better get ready to throw down. I'll stay here and try to tackle that paperwork. Excellent. This shall be quite the unusual experience, but I will do what I can. Oh boy. Yep. 
to, to be continued. Is there anything else? Oh. Oh, yeah, the Patreon shout outs. Nice. And yeah, as they, uh, Dr. Wolf or whoever at the beginning said earlier, uh, go check out their Ko fi and Patreon accounts. Okay, so that was a uh, change of mind part one. Uh, <laughs> so first off, um, I didn't think that this episode would kind of be more like setting up like an undercover boss episode now that Doc is in Bliss's body. And secondly, uh, I was kind of amazed at like some of the voice impressions that Dr. Wolf and Bliss did after they swapped bodies. Like, Bliss was trying to impersonate, uh, or, like, act like Dr. Wolf while, uh, Wolf, Dr. Wolf himself was playing Bliss. And it's always fun to see that Dr. Wolf and Lightning Bliss dynamic, especially outside of, like, either Doc's or Bliss's videos on their channels. I have nothing else to say, but I'm curious to see how part two will play out. So for the time being, if you guys enjoyed this reaction, be sure to leave a like and comment below on any predictions you might have for part two, as well as subscribe so that you don't miss out on my reaction to part two of this episode. But until next time, I'm KSCG, wash your hands, and have a good day.